This is the lab we are going to do today, data carving and recovery. I would like uh, to go through these descriptions and uh, see anything you need uh, hints. Data carving and, and a file carving or file carving is the process of re assembling computer files from fragments in the absence of file system metadata as we discussed this uh, Tuesday. And this lab is a combination of the following resources. There are images and also projects and online articles. Uh, if you have interest, you may check these uh, resources. And the tools we use are also put in these links, for example, photo rack used for photo carving and a bulk extract used to extract useful information. We know in file carving, our hard drive is damaged and we cannot access it normally. After we image those damaged hard drive, we will try our best to recover as much files as possible using file carving tools. The first file carving tool is called a photo Rack. So totally we have uh, two tasks. The last one is optional. So you only need to complete the first two tasks. And the review questions compare the pros and the cons of photo rack and bulk extract. Extractor, you can refer to their official description on their websites. And what's your plan using photo rack for your personal computer? data recovery and design a plan of data recovery for a company with a photo rack and a bulk extractor. If you work for the incident response team in your company, you would, uh, level, it will be very likely you're required to design a plan of data recovery. In case, some uh, disks in your company are damaged and they cannot be accessed normally. There are lots of online resources, so you can check these uh, resources. And also lots of demo videos on YouTube, you can find them. For task one, file carving with a photo rack, you yeah, download and install test disk and uh, photo rack melt and we bin diff. As we discussed during the lecture, you already know how to install this uh, photo rack melt and we bin diff. And download the specified disk images from these uh, forensic images for file carving, then recover files from them one by one with a photo rack. You may refer to this uh, same class project photo rack for demo. Here for the images, we only uh, need practice how to carve graphics here. But with uh, these graphics in this image, it contains non fragmented graphic files. You will see those files can be very easily uh, carved out. And this image, it contains a sequential fragmented graphical files. Since it's a sequentially uh, fragmented, so it is, it is still be uh, easy to recover, but it's harder than these non-fragmented uh, graphic files. When you check the images provided by this website, you can see the put in these uh, six uh, different levels. Actually, the difficulty increases increase for this order. From one to six, the carving becomes more and more difficult. Non-fragmented files, sequential fragmentation, non-sequential fragmentation, missing fragments. Since some fragments are missing, then it's unlike we will not be able to recover the whole files. Nested files, braided files, and we only try this first two to see how many you can uh, call. File different file types were used to create the image here. In our lab, you only need to uh, practice on this uh, graphics for others. 
if you have interest, you may uh, practice by yourself. These are the two images you are going to use. So you can download this one. Here you see this on the status bar, it's an archive in BZ2 format. So after you download, uh, use uh, Win Chiz Win 7 zip 7 zip to uh, um, zip these two images. Then you may follow this uh, same class project photo drag to call those images. Here, this project, it will show you an example. Download this image file. Then you prepare a directory, downloading photo drag and install it. Here, we use the latest version, 7.2. In this uh, online article, it uses 7.0. You unzip, go to this folder, run this command, open a terminal window here, like this, open terminal window, or command prompt, then run this uh, command line. Here, change this uh, image to the two images required here. Graphic L0, graphic.dd, L1, graphic.dd. Those two images, and uh, you see how many files can be called. Follow this uh, demonstration. You go down, you will see uh, the output. Finally, how many files uh, called, you check the folder, your output folder. Here you can see it. from this uh, place, go down, you will see uh, at the end of that command, it shows, in this demo, it shows four files saved. Now, in our case, you will need to see how many images are downloaded. Here you can see they're put in this uh, folder by default. Then you check those images you called. So this is the task one. But you want to know how many files are successfully recovered, uh, called or recovered. There's a step C. Find out how many files are recovered completely or partially or not at all. You, you can we use this uh, comparison tool, MELT, to compare the called files with the original files. So here, you need to check the original files. So then you need to download them, right? Here, for example, that uh, graphics, for graphics, it contains these uh, images. So you download these images and put them into a folder. Then you compare that uh, folder with the recovered folder, the recovered folder with this melt. This melt can be used to compare photos and uh, images. However, their file names are different. So you use this melt, maybe you will show, you will see they are different. So you need to open those images with any uh, image viewer to see whether they're the same manually. The second way you may use this uh, within diff to compare those images after you are uh, compared them with your naked eyes. You can use the within diff. This within diff as we discussed uh, this uh, Tuesday. Download and install this one. It can be used to compare uh, binary data. So you can compare those images, whether they are completed, uh, completely uh, called or partially called. and see any, to check any difference. If they are completely called, you should see uh, no difference. Otherwise you will see uh, some, some difference. So this is a uh, task one, what you need to do. In this demo, it only show you uh, how to call them. You get these uh, called images. In our lab, 
you also need to download the original images and compare them with the mail and we believe to see how many files are recovered completely partially or not at all. So this is the file calling task. For this uh, second task, information extraction with a bulk extractor. But this is not optional. I, I will remove this part because we have credits here. Right? And the last one is optional. This is not, this is, is required. So I will revise it later. So you need to download and install this Zulu Open JDK 8 or 11 if you want to use it. Uh, use Spark Extract the GUI version. This uh, lab is not, a, that GUI version is not required. So you may, if you don't need it, you may. Uh, just for, forgot about this, but I suggest you download this one and install this uh, bulk extract. Here for this uh, Zulu OpenJDK, download the OpenJDK 8 or 11. Both uh, worked and verified during the lecture. So you can go to this uh, download to download the Zulu builds of OpenJDK. Download Zulu. Now, which version you need? Here, you need uh, suggest Java 8. And our operating system depends on yours. If you use Mac OS, you choose Mac OS. You use Windows, choose Windows. So it's up to you. And 64 bit, you need to check your operating system. And then you can download this uh, installation file, download and install it. After you install it, uh, please change your environment variable to contents to put that uh, Java executable file folder to the path. Yeah, you can use uh, environment, edit system environment variables as I demonstrated in the lecture. In this path, you put your Zulu yeah, you see my Zulu 11 and Zulu 8, they are, they are executable file folder or all put inside this uh, path environment variables. Yeah, these are the path environment variables. Then you, you will be able to run java.exe from any folder. The second one is to download this uh, Bark extractor here, the Bark extractor. Download this installer. When you install it, please choose it uh, to let it uh, add its path to the environment variable. If it's added to your environment variable, you will see it's an execution path. Uh, let's see whether it's inside here. It's, in, it's added to the system path. Here you can check my, what is that bulk extractor? Here, you'll see the bulk extractor. Its path is added to this uh, path variable. Then you can execute that bulk extractor command from any folder. After the installation, complete the following tasks with the bulk extract, extractor. You may refer to this project three provided by Sam's class here. Oops, this one, project three, analyzing a DRAM image with bulk extractor. Yeah, you may use your Windows machine or any uh, other machine or Linux machine. Linux machine is not required here, right? Here. In this demo, the author use a color Linux machine. And use the bulk extract here. You see this uh, bulk extract I mean, the downloaded uh, memory image. 
the command line is very simple. Bulk is structure dash o bulk with an output folder dash e record list and followed by this uh, memory image. You may change this stuff by yourself. Here, once it's uh, complete, you will see lots of information are extracted. You can view the result. On your Windows, you just use your File Explorer to, to browse those uh, results. You can see this result from uh, credit card number, AES keys, email, IP address, and so on. You can use any text editor to open this uh, domain, histogram.txt. Telephone number, credit card number, word list, email address. So you can see all this stuff. Let's follow this uh, demo. Whether you uh, use Windows, it's up to you. You may use Windows or Linux or Mac OS. There are two images. The download this image and find the credit card number begin with three, seven, two, eight. Actually, these two tasks are also from this is Sam's class here. I think it's from this place. Sam's class. P4, P2, P3, they are similar projects. Analyzing them image with a bulk extractor. You can see at the end of this uh, lab, there are two challenges. Challenge one, find all email address and with them. For this one, the second one, find the credit card number, begin with this uh, number. 3728. And you can see the link for this uh, image is from Sam class, uh, mem dump 47z, mem dump 2016 mem.zip. They're all from this, uh, this project, project 4.